Today I'm joined by my husband of 525 years, Frank Joseph. Hello. Don't do hello like that in the morning. It's okay. too much for me. Hi. Much better. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. So I've decided this year that we're Jewish. So at Hanukkah, are we Jewish? We're Jewish. Jewish. You're Jewish. We're going to make uh, something different this year. Usually we do latkes, which are made with potatoes. But I've decided that I think it would be fun to do these chestnut pancakes for my cookbook, At the Table of La Potessa. And don't forget to like and subscribe. There we go. So these are chestnut pancakes. I suggest you can make them obviously for Hanukkah, you can make them Christmas morning. Um, they're a hearty pancake. They've got some heft to them. We serve them with a lemon ricotta and a delicious homemade jam. And the recipe, by the way, is below. So sometimes I go off script. If you watch my videos, you know that I do whatever I want with these recipes, but honestly, you can too. I mean, if you just, as long as you keep all the ratios the same. Well, that's not even true. Whatever, do what you like. Here's the recipe. <laughs> so chestnut flour. Chestnut flour, if you've watched the other videos where we've made like chestnut gnocchi, always needs to be sifted. Are you helping me? I'm or? helping. You can take those to the sink. You don't just have to stand here. You could actually do something. You know, I think Frank is trying really, really hard not to annoy me, which is annoying. It takes a lot of patience to be married to Annette. Tell them about Hanukkah though. What is Hanukkah? Like what if I've never, I just landed on planet Earth and I didn't know what Hanukkah was? So Hanukkah is a, uh, is in reference to a uh, military siege. There was some sort of- Wait, let me, let me interrupt you. We're putting flour in now. So you always have to amend chestnut flour with a little bit of like all purpose or zero flour, zero, zero flour, go. Okay. So there was some sort of battle. A Bunch of Jewish people were sort of stuck and they oh, were- Oh no, we can't go through the entire history. Do the Breeders' Digest version. So they were running out of oil. Miraculously, the oil lasted <laughs> for eight days. It was viewed as a miracle. Very good. Now and in Hanukkah, we light uh, eight days worth of candles. That's it? Yes. Well, that was really super short. Hanukkah is a uh, Jewish holiday. It is in somewhat in response to Christmas. If you ask a rabbi, they will tell you that Hanukkah was a very insignificant holiday in the realm of Jewish holidays. And then because of Christmas, there needs to sort of be a little bit of a response. So the Jewish faith took it upon themselves to make elevate Hanukkah into a more significant holiday. And I would have said this part of the, the history had and that uh, let me get, get a word in edgewise. So I added a little baking powder to this. Yes. It's in the recipe as a teaspoon. Carry on. Oh, we're gonna put a little salt in though. You know I like things salty. You can also make this savory and not add the sugar to it. Is this really the right amount of sugar? No. <laughs> Leo is standing behind the scenes here and you know our routine and if you don't, you should watch the videos. Yes, he always gives me the wrong... No, it's a tablespoon, no? For a ricotta, the teaspoon for... I think this is going pretty well. Carry on. Carry on, Frank. So if you're looking out, eight days of presents seems really great, but the reality is you only get good presents the first day or two, and then the... Well, presents that's in dribble our off. Family. I think, I think I, it's no, I no, think it dribbles no, I think off in most families. A little bit cheap with our kids. Okay. That's maybe why they don't like you so much. <laughs> okay, so I put in one egg and my favorite thing, sparkling water. Is this the right amount of sparkling water? Traditional. So I want everybody to be aware that this was not the right amount of water. <laughs> This is the consistency you're looking for. So it's sort of a very loose pancake batter. And the, and the reason it's looser is because the construction of the batter has got chestnut flour in it. And the chestnut flour is like stiff. Okay, so we're gonna let this sit for a minute. What is happening here? Aren't you zesting something? Look at that, he knows stuff. I'm zesting lemon into ricotta. It has the sugar, the appropriate amount of sugar, which is a tablespoon. And then we're gonna sort of whip this up. And then I'm gonna feed it to you sensually. 
Ooh. Ew, old people and kissing. That's what my kids always say. No, you're spritzing out the lemon juice. So you know what you're trying to do? I think I'm mushing this up. Well, you're trying to make it like creamy. Okay. That's your goal. Okay. All right. Oh God, I, he's, I don't think he's ever done this in his life other than to stir up a yogurt. Oh, I'm a terrible cook. Probably our third or fourth date, I uh, made scrambled eggs for Annette. She promptly told me that they were inedible and horrible. And essentially, I haven't cooked since that time. Are you done with this? Here. My God. Jesus. So the ricotta, apparently, according to Frank, takes a half an hour to swirl up. Okay. I think we've incorporated this nicely. See how soft that got, though? Yeah, thanks to me. You did it. Okay, good job. High five. Okay. Sometimes the first pancake's not the best pancake, so let's say a little prayer. Baruch Atad and I. Just kidding. That is a little prayer, though. We're going to do a little spready thing with it. We're just going to let it go. And it's just like a regular pancake when you see all these bubblies. You know, when they, it's all bubbly, then flip it. All right, our first pancake is out and about. It looks like a lot of oil. It's the holiday of oil. Do you remember from your story? I do. Where there was just enough oil for one night and, and it, it lasted, lasted eight, eight days. It was a miracle. Hanukkah, oh Hanukkah, let's light the menorah. Do you know, remember no, that song? No, absolutely, 100% no. This is going to be your retirement. I'm going to teach you how to cook. We're changing the name of the show. And it may not be a non-violent show. So you're going to make the next pancake. Okay. Um, but you're going to make it from like soup to nuts, start to finish. Okay, sir. Do I have go. to put oil in it? No. No. Just put that in it, the batter. Okay. One step away. Everybody cross your fingers. So when do you flip it? Uh, I think it's got to get a little more brown around the edges. No. No, but a lot of bubbles. A lot, a lot of, of bubbles. bubbles. And you can kind of look at the bottom of it with your spatula. Already? Yes. That's it's cooking too soon. Up. No, it's not too soon. It's too soon. All right, I'm going to be quiet. Oh, it's not too soon. <laughs> <laughs> you did pretty good. I mean, I think that's the first time you've ever flipped a pancake in your life. Might be. Might be. <laughs> <laughs> this was worth waking up this morning. Okay, looks good. Looks perfect. Do you want to taste these? 100% I'm hungry. You were supposed to be cleaning all this up. I don't remember what that. What the hell were you doing? Well, if you're on a cooking show, you have to like help out, buddy. I'm pretty sure that Frank. Julia Childs had people below here. Her husband was on the floor, and I think that's where you should be. And he was like handing her things. Okay, I'll try that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Here. It's very you... uncomfortable. Yeah, the question is can you get up? So you're going to hand me this plate. Wait, wait, we're going to do Julia Childs style. Wait. Okay. Wait, wait. Okay, look out. Hi. I stepped on his hand. Okay. So I, I need a plate. Thank you very much. Get up, get up. Not gonna work. Look, it's gonna take him 20 minutes to get up. Old people doing a cooking show. All right, so we're gonna eat this guy, right? I am gonna put ricotta on it so don't get hysterical. Okay, I will not be eating that, but okay. Frank, you will eat it. And you know, this is, we're supposed to say things are delicious. Okay, that's delicious. And you're being a little bit. So this is how we do it in the cookbook. Okay, we put a grape jam on it, right? And then we do a little roll, and then we put a little bit of ricotta on it, on the side, and then we eat it. You ready to try this? I am. You have to take some ricotta, and you have to, okay, you ready? Cheers, we always cheers with our food. Cheers. cheers. Mmm. The lemon is great. Right? I want another bite. Okay. All right, you guys, so make these really delicious 
ricotta pancakes. I'm gonna let him eat them. And uh, cutting up his food for him. And let me know how it goes. It, these really are delicious, and I know that if you bought my book, you have mm. a lot of chestnut flour around. So this is a great thing. It's a great brunch thing. It's a great breakfast thing. I, you know, I'm, I think you could even do dessert with this, don't you think? Absolutely. All right, so from our house to your house, a lot of kissing. Happy Hanukkah and have a great new year. Bye. Bye. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Yep.